so I wanted to quickly do my skincare routine with you to show you why I use Vanillico. Wait, where is it? Vanillico. It's a Korean brand and I would say it's, at least in Korea, it's very reasonably priced. They're most famous for their cleansing oils, so cleansing oil balm, which is an alternative to the Shuyamura. So if you want a more economical way and more of a you know, um, paste form to really deep clean makeup off, that's a great, that's how I was introduced to this company, most people are. And then I love their primer, which is essentially dimethicone in a bottle. But of course, with that kind of heritage, I would be extremely uh, skeptical about their skincare because I would see them more of as a makeup company. But their skincare has proven to be quite amazing. Yay! So this is a set which I think I got on a ridiculous sale. I think it's like it was like $25, but this alone I think in America is like $30. So you can see this is like a mid-range. I don't know exactly how much Clinique costs anymore in the US, but I would say like if you like the aesthetic of Clinique and the price points of Clinique, you know, it's better than drugstore, but not super expensive, still got like attention to quality and detail that this is a great brand. Well, I, I hate Clinique because I think the ingredients are way too harsh and it's really old technology and it's always messed up my skin. But I love that kind of aesthetic, you know, like the clean lines and, you know, it looks like a laboratory. So what you'll find with this is that um, Korean skincare, if you're not really familiar with it, it is not scared of using chemicals, so it's not going to go in that whole vegan, you know, thing. But then they're also super um, attuned to using organic, natural, kind of like the superfoods of skin food um, and unexpected ingredients. So this is, so, so basically I washed my face um, and I used the witch uh, hazel toner. On a cotton pad this is actually a great deal if it's 150 milliliters this is the plus volume and it's from the VV line VV and it has like as its second ingredient a niacinamide so it has all of the trendy things uh, right now that really focus on hydration plumping peptides and um, probiotics. So out of all of the um, steps in skincare, what do I think is the secret? It's this. This is something that most people don't do. It's essentially like the uh, in between a toner and an essence. And think of it as like a toner that will have no kind of like astringent qualities. Um, it's not thick enough to be like an, a serum or an essence. But it's too expensive to put on a cotton pad. That should be the test. If you don't want to put it on a cotton pad, and it's still almost like water, but you want to put it on your face, all of it, then you know you're in this range. So it basically gives you that um, hydration and it helps uh, the rest of the stuff go in. Uh, some of the things that you'll see with this, their, their marketing part is five types of collagen. And one of the interesting ones that you'll probably never find in uh, American skincare, European skincare, is soybean extract. So soybeans, we, uh, you know, worship the soybean in Korea, and it has great um, antimicrobial or probiotic properties. So that's probably also why they look at it. Um, ah, just wine extracts in there, and so. Just from the beginning, there's a lot of great ingredients. You want to have great ingredients here because you've just washed, you've just stripped, it's going to seep in. Next step is the serum. This is also a great value. I think this is how I got introduced to this VV line because I was looking for a cheaper alternative to my all-time favorite, the Belief Peat Essence. That's just way too expensive now. That used to be what I consider this line. If you look at Belief, that was the affordable department store but with quality ingredients and a botanical bent. And then it got so popular, they started raising the prices. Okay, so this is now the serum, or they'll call it an essence. So don't be confused if 
they use that word essence all around. Essence is probably the most abused word. It's almost like producer, like it could be anything um, within a range. So I thought this would be all about hyaluronic acid because it really plumps you up, but this doesn't have hyaluronic acid. We're gonna have to wait to get to hyaluronic acid in the cream. I wanna just double check real quick if we have hyaluronic acid in the essence. Nope, we don't have it there. So I'm really impressed that they were able to get all this hydration through other mechanisms so that by the time we get to hyaluronic acid, um, we're gonna have even more. Um, it's not just a one-shot pony. The thing that is always in here is the niacinamide, so they're really into that. This has tomato fruit extract, so that's different. Wine extract again, and uh, lactic acid as an exfoliant, so even the the uh, essence will have a bit of an exfoliating quality. Uh, glycerin, of course, is in there for that uh, smoothness. What I like that is not in here, let me just double check. Oh, it is in here, but it's a little bit down the list. If dimethicone is high on the list in an in a serum or essence at this stage of the skincare process, it's a ripoff because it's just gonna block everything uh, to seep in. It's like a silicone layer and it's way too overpriced to pay for, for silicone, which is basically kind of like a plastic. Um, I love dimethicone as a primer, which you can just buy separately. You know, this is like all almost all dimethicone. Why would you want to, you know, pay for this, which is cheap? ingredients in something that's expensive. Why do they put it in there? Well, when you test it on your hand in the store, it looks, feels so silky and not oily. It's a scam, don't do it. Okay, next we're gonna do the cream. And I was also surprised. This is like faith, man, because I just bought this and I've been using it for over a year without even looking at the ingredients. You know, you guys are all so ing ingredient obsessed. I just like if it works. Um, and, but I was shocked because I checked the ingredients for this video and it actually has petrolatum, which is basically, you know, like that version of petroleum jelly, which like La Mer uses a lot. And I think coconut oil, let me just double check, and olive oil. Petrolatum. Um vitamin E, olive oil, yep, coconut oil. So it has all these oils because I was just like, this is a thicker cream, but it's still light. And I thought that there, I would never have thought that there was oil-based products. So if you're scared of and I would have never have bought this if I saw the ingredient list. I'd be like, oh no, that would probably be like giving me like acne or something. Um, but I've been using it over like for over a year without um, any acting problems from this and like ignorant of the ingredients. And so now I'm, now I'm impressed because that does make sense of like why it is very hydrating. And then if you like the, um, oil movement for like a little bit more of a um, organic way of doing skincare, then this is good. This also has like all those ingredients that you can't pronounce. So, I mean, to be honest, that's why I love Korean skincare is that if they like both of them, like if it works, it works. And if it's safe, it's safe. Well, safe enough for regulators, then let's put it in. And Korean FDA, ironically, is more strict than US FDA from what I understand. Not everything in Korea is strict in terms of regulations and people like, you know, get around corruption and stuff, but the KFDA uh, is pretty strict. Uh, so that's also been a boon for our cosmetics industry, I believe. All right, now the last thing in this four piece set, which was an absolute bargain, um, is the eye cream. And I have to admit, I don't really use eye cream because I always feel like it's a scam. Like it's just an overpriced version of this with like the same ingredients, but maybe um, more greasy, and which basically means it's like cheaper, right? It's just like oils. But um, looking at the ingredient list for the eye cream, it is much, it is different than um, all of the rest. It has uh, a similar 
uh, DNA in terms of having the niacinamide, but it has, this one surprisingly has a lot of like fruity, flowery oils, like lemon peel oil, olive oil, rosewood oil, clary oil, um, all of these raspberry seed oil, you know, these things that seem so great. Um, but then also like the things you can't pronounce, but it does have petrolatum and paraffin up high on the list. So let's see how greasy it is. I usually don't use eye cream, but my eyes do need something these days, but I don't know if eye cream, I always feel like eye cream makes me look worse, like it kind of weighs down my eyes. So that's why I've always been hesitant. And then also because it's so like, um, like it's such a smaller bottle for so much more money, it seems like such a rip off. But it feels good. It feels tightening. I don't, let me see if there's caffeine in it because that's a, no, nope, no caffeine. So they're not cheating in that way. You'll see a lot of the um, stuff like uh, the department store brands use caffeine. That's kind of a cheat. Um, oh, one thing I wanted to mention is that in one of these products, there is the, um, oh yeah, this one. And... Bifida ferment lysate. It's essentially like the probiotics that is the main star of the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. So I would say out of all of the department stores, if I had to go there and like was forced to basically um, buy something or recommend something from one of the big, you know, super marketed uh, skincare lines, I would say that one is probably the one that actually does work, um, but it's super expensive and I've only recently started trying it and I haven't seen like it be amazing. And I was surprised that their concept was probiotic. So in that way, they were probably, if that was the original formula, cause I know that they keep updating the formula, but if that was the original formula when they first started and that's pretty groundbreaking. So that would be like one of these things to say like it's a secret. Um, but now everybody is on to the fact that uh, the biome of your skin is also important. We have to have a good balance of bacteria. So you're going to get that in this. So that's good. All right, what's next in my... Oh, this is like a big Banilico day. What I like is that it's... Like, as you can see from the ingredients, it's effective. But it also has that smooth, almost clinical nature of like a department store brand, like a clinique, like what clinique is supposed to do um, at a good price. So this is the primer. So if you use a lot of, if you use a lot of makeup, this is basically going to make your makeup go on smoother. But even if you don't use makeup, it just kind of gives you like, you know, when you wax your car, it's essentially like waxing your car. And this is when I totally believe in using dimethicone. See, it'll feel like really slick, almost oily, but there's no oil because it is a silicone. So if you want dimethicone, just buy it alone. Do not get scammed into having it in a um, essence. It's not that high up on the list in here, so don't worry. All right, so now this is the Vanilla Co. CC Cream, which is essentially a BB cream. I don't know, they, I think, were one of the first people to really like say, like, we're not BB cream, or CC cream, whatever. It's a BB cream. So what I really like about this is the texture. It's very smooth. If, if you've never used BB cream, it's essentially like the dream texture of if a foundation could be like a lotion, if you've ever like said like, oh, I'm, I don't know about foundation. I just wish it was just easy to apply like a lotion. And I wish it wasn't like so dense. Like I wish it wasn't like, you know, paint. I wish it was more, oh, now this is the Amore Pacific. This is my favorite all time. All the BB cream has gotten on it. My favorite all time sunblock. Because I think it almost looks makes it look like you have an extra layer of skin. It is pricey though. So I always... So basically, this is my top brand. And then I went to Belief because this was so expensive. Belief got more expensive. So now this is kind of like one of my... 
uh, top brands now a days. I love it. Okay, so then you just basically take your sunblock and you blend it in, right? So instead of like a foundation brush or a beauty blender, your sunblock is essentially is essentially the um, blending agent and so much faster. I mean, you're just done. That's it. You might look a little bit white cast for a while, but then, you know, you just like do your hair, dry your hair, or like brush your teeth. By that time, the color settles down. I don't know how, but they say like it oxidized to your natural skin tone. All right, guys, so that is my morning with you about why I use Vanilla Co, especially the VV line. And usually I never use all of the stuff in one line because it's hard to get all of it right. But this one, this one they got, this one they got right. I still don't know about the eye cream because I don't really use eye cream. So I'll give you an update on that. But this is a great alternative for a very affordable, high quality skincare routine. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Hey girl, don't forget to subscribe. That's really hard.